Well, a very good evening to you and welcome to Game On. My name is Mahdeen Chenya Saluji and it's a very special, special episode for us because we are celebrating 500 episodes of Game On. One of the most iconic boxing trainers in South African boxing is calling it a day. Nick Durant joins us in studio. Nick, thank you very much for being with us here. Why, why the decision to call it a day, to hang up the boxing gloves? Been there, done it, <laughs> bought the t-shirt. I didn't know I was so loved in this country because you didn't? The, no, the Facebook and the Twitters and, and the comments that people are making has actually saddened me because if that had come 48 hours ago, maybe I would have still been in the business. You find that a joke? No, I do find it a joke because I'm, I'm, I'm not an educated man. Well, I'm very excited to have two legends of football in studio with me this evening. Portia Modise, of course, uh, the goal-scoring machine, and uh, AFCON winner, Mark Fish. Portia, um, what did you think of Banyana Banyana's performance at the Rio Olympic Games? Obviously, having had that experience and scored that fantastic goal, um, they've certainly moved up a level, but not where they need to be in terms of the world women's football. I think, like I, say, I always say, the problem doesn't start in the Olympics. The girls, they got their chance to prepare themselves. Mm. But the, the problem started at home, us not having a proper league like PSL guys. I think it's important that if you have consistent week in, week out, you're playing football, mm. it's obviously going to better you as a, as, a, as, a, as a player. So, if you know, and as Paul just said, if there's not women's football, there's not women's league week in, week out, and you, you're playing sort of at an amateur level, um, and then you go to play the national team, now next, next minute you've got to raise your game and play against professional teams that are playing for their countries. Also getting um, former players, uh, part of uh, the national setup, part of SAFA to give their expertise. I mean, there's nothing like having played for, for your club, for your um, team, and have that kind of on-field experience. No, 100%. I think you, know, yeah, you, no. have to have, you have to have played Sorry, you have to have played the game. If you mm. play the game, and there's a lot of players that want to be involved, not mm. on a national um, um, level, you know, with, at club level. Um, uh, owners of clubs, um, the national level, SAFA, need to take, employ these players. The players aren't yeah, there agree. to um, take people's positions away. We're there to help football in this country. Yes. A very good evening to you and welcome to Game On. I'm your host, Mahreen Chenya Saluji. It is very, very cold outside, freezing indeed, so I hope you are tucked in under your blankets in front of your television screens to catch your daily dose of sporting action. We're coming to you live once again from the Santon Convention Center. This time, Cricket South Africa is awarding the best of the best in South African cricket, not just at national level, but both on the domestic scene as well as our youngsters that have uh, represented South Africa at numerous uh, levels. Well, uh, the gentleman that makes this all possible is the president of Cricket South Africa, that is of course uh, Mr. Chris Nanzani. Thank you very much for joining us here in studio. I suppose one of the biggest success stories this season has been that of transformation. Um, we've seen the likes of Kahiso Robada, Temba Bavuma, even I suppose in the, in the tri-series we had I think eight uh, black players on the field. Those are all things that we've been working hard to achieve and, and we're getting there. Yes, we are certainly getting there. Uh, but one would be the first one to admit that uh, there's still a lot of work to do in that, in that sphere. There will be uh, targets at national level. What are you hoping to achieve from that? It's part of the journey towards transformation. It's part of the journey to make sure that there is access, mm. there is representation at all levels. People that are negative around, you know, it'll say, oh, but it's quotas, quotas don't work, we're not going to get players of merit, um, our white players are going to go play overseas because we're not giving them an opportunity, but that's not what you're looking to do at all. No, it's not, and uh, it's not what we're looking to do. Uh, we, we want to make sure that everybody has a place in the sun.